Hey YouTube, it's Craig here and I'm back with a new video and this one we're going to be talking about the Bush Clover or Hagi. It is one of the newer limited edition Namiki models. We're going to do a unboxing and a writing sample. Let's get right into it. All right, you guys. So this is what we are checking out is the Namiki Yukari 2023 limited edition. This is the Hagi or Bush Clover. And it is in a fine. And I picked this up from Goulet Pens to add to my personal collection. See there, fine number 209 is a limited edition piece. They only made 300 of this pen and only 69 for the US market. The Miki information pamphlet about all about the pen, very nicely embossed on there. The interior box, a little bit of cushion. Here we have inside Hagi 2023 limited edition. Line is number 209. There's what the pen looks like. And here's the information about the bush clover. If any of you want to read through it. And here, you got a bottle of Namiki black ink in there. And here is the pen. That is it for the box. Here is the Namiki Yukari. So the serial number is actually on top. So right up here, it says 209. 300 and it is a pretty like well-weighted pen so check out that beautiful maquille all hand done and this is all just powders that are sprinkled in there's the signature it was done by a group so it's not quite as expensive as something that was done by a single artisan but absolutely stunning beautiful piece unscrew the cap and there you have the two-tone. This is a fine nib. I picked out a fine. I usually like mediums and I will in like the larger pens, but uh, I decided to go with a fine in this nice smaller size pen. Give you a size comparison. Here is a Yukari size next to an Emperor size. It is a much smaller pen compared to the Emperor. There's not a lot of things that are much larger than the Emperor. This is a big pen. In a more recent acquisition, here is the Sailor King of Pen Ebonite next to the Yukari. So a little bit more comparable. It's still a little bit of a shorter pen, but a really nice size. And this is well weighted because it is a metal pen that's been lacquered and painted and all that. So of course the pen has a cartridge converter inside of it. I'll take Pilot Namiki cartridges or it has a Con70 converter in it, which is just so easy. This is actually a really nice Con70. It's a little different than what I've been used to with them. We're gonna ink this up, do a little writing sample. I'm gonna use Konpeki. It's a wonderful color. It's a favorite. A couple pumps and just like that, the whole thing is full. Pop this back in here. Now the pen does have a little bit of felt on the inside, so you could post it if you ever so wanted, but I'm gonna prefer not to post the pen. I'm just gonna hold the cap off of the side while I do this writing sample. Namiki, Yukari, Hagi, or Bush Clover. And this is number 209 of 300 worldwide. Only 300 made, which is just super cool. I love these small little additions. But as far as the pen goes, I mean, it is a Japanese fine, which writes like a European extra fine. Very, very smooth, but with the slightest hint of feedback. You know, I'm not gonna, this isn't something you would wanna really flex, but you can get the slightest amount of extra line variation, but uh, I'm not gonna push it. These aren't meant to be pushed. These are not flex nibs, Craig. You can't just flex every nib that you get. Even though I wish every nib was a flex nib, they're not. Especially these nice Japanese 18 karat gold nibs. I wanna keep that nice. But yeah, this is a 
18 karat gold nib and it has Mount Fuji on it. Very, very nice. Plastic feed. The quick. I do like the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog because I like foxes, I like dogs. I'm a, I like those guys. Uh, reverse riding. Not great. I don't really, re don't really recommend that. It's not, it's not that it's not smooth or anything like that. It's definitely smooth, but it doesn't get much ink onto the page. So I don't really recommend that. Converter is awesome. Gotta love the Con 70. It's super easy to fill, super easy to clean. It's a vacuum fill. You get a lot of ink in there. It's, you know, the piston fillers, especially like the Con 40 is not very good from Pilot. So if you can get a Con 70, they're great. And this comes with a Con 70 and a bottle of ink, which is great. You can also, like I said, put cartridges in this if you wanted to. Perfect for my hand. I have little hands though. So, but even if you did decide that you did want to post it, it's not bad either. It's a really, actually feels really nice posted too. Not, not weighty or anything like that. I was going to say, I highly recommend it. And then I started to spell recommend wrong, but I highly recommend Namiki. The artwork's beautiful. The pen writes great. This retails for $1,800 from Goulet. You have to have a big budget for this pen, but if you can get one, you guys, you know, they're, they're still available, but they only had 69 for the entire US, but there's 300 in total out there. I just think it's just such a beautiful thing, especially I love autumn. That's probably my favorite time of year. And uh, to get something with a really pretty autumn flower on it is super special, super cool. And now I'm just gonna do a little sketchy sketch of my cartoon character, Grimsley. He's a little skeleton dude that I used to draw on all my artwork. I don't really paint very much anymore, but when I did, I would always include a Grimsley. Oh, my dad actually named him. He was like my little alter ego for the longest time. I recommend it. Check it out. Get one like me. We can be bush clover buddies. Yeah, great pen. And that's the video. Thanks so much for checking out, you guys. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave a comment down below. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe for more content like this and check out my Instagram at Crew and I'll see you all in the next video. All right, peace.